Uh, good morning. I am calling my colleagues up with me. Um, as you see, we stand in solidarity. And as you can see, this is an issue that transcends politics because we have my colleagues from both sides of the aisle. But first of all, I'm thrilled to see everyone here this morning to celebrate January 11th, which we will now know as Human Trafficking Awareness Day. So as Patricia says, can everyone say what January 11th is? Human Trafficking Awareness Day. And before I give you some remarks, I do want to thank the Coalition Against Human Trafficking for sponsoring this rally and for all that you do together and as individual organizations uh, to advocate for human rights in our state. And I must give a shout out to my uh, Bergen Council, National Council of Jewish Women. Thank you for coming down on the bus. And we appreciate everyone's attendance here. As you heard, um, you know, some of you may think that it only happens in developing nations or places of war. But it also happens, unfortunately, right here in New Jersey and in communities across the United States. It's a human rights issue that affects over 20 million people worldwide. But until recently, human trafficking has remained largely in the shadows of society. Victims are often children and vulnerable women who are too afraid and dependent on traffickers to break their silence and seek help. Many times they are exploited for years, and when they finally have a chance to regain their freedom, they are prosecuted for their crimes. And quite frankly, you know, they were the ones that were forced to commit while enslaved. Those are not, those people were not prosecuted. The real perpetrators often remain untouched by the law. You know, only a few miles away from my home, a young woman spent the night at a house of someone she thought was a friend. When she woke up the next morning, she was told she could not leave, and she was soon forced into a life of prostitution. She was 12 years old. Sadly, this story is more common than we may think. Recently in Vetner, young men were lured into prostitution with the promises of drugs, money, and even friendship. As you heard this, the congressman say, there's in bus stations, hotels, motels, and malls across uh, the United States, New Jersey, young women and men from our state are picked up by traffickers and held against their will. In the United States, it just takes 72 hours for a trafficker to pick up a runaway child. And in New Jersey, the average age of tra trafficking victims is 12 years old and some as young as nine. If the victims are lucky, they get away from their traffickers long enough to call for help or call home. But far too many remain trapped and trafficked. The State Department estimates that 100,000 victims who are often women and children are in the country when they are enslaved. And another 50,000 women, men, and children are trafficked into the United States each year, making it the number one destination for trafficking victims. So we must combat trafficking here in New Jersey, and I'm proud to say that we are certainly on our way. Together with the Coalition Against Human Trafficking, I and my fellow legislators standing behind me and many others who are not here today have sponsored the Human Trafficking Prevention, Protection, and Awareness Act. So this bipartisan comprehensive legislation will not only make our state a leader in fighting human trafficking, but will certainly prove and show and be a role model for the rest of the states to coalesce with this terrific comprehensive bill. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said, the end of legal slavery in the United States and in other countries around the world has not, unfortunately, meant the end of slavery. Those victims of modern slavery are women and men, girls and boys, and their stories remind us of the kind of inhumane treatment we are capable of as human beings. Whatever their background, they are living, breathing reminders that the work to eradicate slavery remains unfinished. And so with all of us here today committed to preventing human trafficking, prosecuting the perpetrators, and giving victims the chance to become survivors, with all your help, we can do that in New Jersey.